There is only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna It's the night before we leave and I've got everything ready to go back to Melbourne. Yes, I've got to get back to Melbourne. I don't want to leave, especially after today, losing that barramundi just gave me a sniff and I just want more. Yes, so I'm going back to Melbourne to pick up my boat and my Jimny and my car and I'm driving my car and my boat back up here. So that's what I forgot to tell you, that's why I'm going back to Melbourne. That one was already folded already. So I've got my drone, EPUB. What else is in there? Phone chargers, laptops, all my clothes, and Alex is just packing everything. I don't know if it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. Just about to jump on the plane now. Alright, I'll see you guys in Melbourne. Geelong. It's 13 degrees at the moment. The boat's all packed. I'll show you the boat a bit later on. I've got to kill some K's now. I've got to go down to Melbourne. I'm staying at my dad's tonight. Then tomorrow I'm going to pick up my cousin. Ooh, that. Pick up my cousin Brendan and then we're going to hit the road. Today is Thursday so we're leaving tomorrow which is Friday so I'm planning on getting back into Cairns on Sunday and we have to spend the night in the outback. Where are you picking from the... No, this is that we ate it. Did you pick it yourself? Yeah, you pick it, you pick it. Yeah. Boom, 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 easy, fuck. So we're at Super, full wheel drive Super Center and we need to buy swag because we're staying in the Outback for a night and we're just gonna see what swag we're gonna buy. Maybe we just get a single swag. Just trying to think if we need anything because we're staying in the outback and I don't know if we're gonna where we're gonna cook. So today's the day we leave. We're gonna leave in like two hours. I should actually get one of these, man, for me. For a box, yeah. Bro, you won't have to take a fucking tray, anything. You just take that. You can cook both, but. What? Uh, it'd be good if it had one like. Nah, it's good because you can cook the fish on that grill. Oh, yeah. On the other side. Maybe I'll grab that. Look, that's heaps of room, you reckon? Plenty. You lay like that. But. I'll be right. Gee, thanks for that. First fuel stop is on Mountain Highway. We're at this Blue United. And let's see how much we get out of a tank on this. I know it's got half a tank of fuel and we've done about 200 kilometers. So we'll see what the first tank we get. We'll see how much we get out of the first tank. That's full. I'm going to shake the car a bit. If it goes down, we shake the car. Oh no! We've made it to Brent's house now and he's just getting his stuff ready. So sleeping bag, pillow, one sleeping bag is going to be enough for both of us. So in this trip guys, I don't know if I've told you, we are not staying in any accommodation at all. This is a sleeping bag. Mika, that is massive. How big is the sleeping bag? Double. Double. Oh, look at the sleeping bag we got. And I know it gets cold in the, like, in the outback when you start going through. On our trip up, I don't know if you guys remember, but the windscreen and everything was just frozen and it was like super cold. So we're gonna be fucking cold. Car's pretty packed now. Can't even see out those windows, but we've got the boat in the back. I'll see the boat from there. And yeah, we're just waiting for Brendan to come out and we're ready to go. And I'll show you guys how far it is from here to where we have to actually go for the final destination, how many kilometers all up it is now. 2,790. Fuck, let's do it. <laughs> we go. And we're starting at 1.30 p.m. So. Okay, just to keep you guys updated, it's currently 13 degrees here in Digger's Rest. So we've just stopped at a Chuka. And how many, um, is it a Chuka here, Brent? Yeah. A Chuka Moama. A Chuka Moama. And we have done 208 kilometers with half, with half a tank. Hey? Victoria and New South Wales. 
we're gonna fill up two little jerry cans and they're like five liters each so we got another 10 liters on board if something fucking happens tonight there's the border right there put down in the comment section if you know where this caravan park is what caravan park did you used to stay at it's called Moema. I think it's is that Mo oh, I'm thinking of yeah, Wanga Mawela, not Mo No, Mo no, it's Moema. Moema Caravan Park. It's just on the border between Victoria and New South Wales. So we're, we're officially in New South Wales now? We're officially in New South Wales, across the border. And there's the sign, I think. We're at Woolies, we're gonna get a couple of things before we hit the road. So the plan tonight is, we really don't know. So when we get tired, we're gonna pull over, because as you know, we've got the swag. We've got a, we've got a, oh, we should buy meat then. Forget, we should get food. All right, so we're getting food, we're getting meat, because like, we don't know where the fuck, how far we're going tonight. So we can drive, I don't know, 600 Ks and say, fuck, we're tired, let's pull over. We'll start a fire, we'll cook up, we'll put the, um, the swag up and have a sleep for like three, four hours. And then maybe get up at like three, four in the morning and yeah, try to do 1500 Ks. So we went shopping, we got some jerky, we got some bread, we got some meat. I got this package about three weeks ago and I haven't said nothing. It was at Alex's mum's house. I opened it yesterday at my dad's house and fuck. There are 100,000 subs on YouTube. Um, so we're about to take off and I just realized I haven't showed you guys what the boat looks like inside and like what I'm bringing up. I got eskies, but in the eskies is like shoes, clothes and all that sort of stuff. I got the tire, I got the rods here. I didn't put a tarp on it this time because I don't know if you've seen the first video I went to Queensland but the tarp just destroyed everything. Well, it was kind of my fault. They had metal clips in there. I should have cut them off. I missed a couple and they, they fucked the boat. So, um, But yeah, that's what the boat looks like. I thought I'd just show you guys quickly. Heard a massive bang on the trailer. <laughs> Get fucked. We're in the Nilly Queen at the moment. No, I think we're all good. Oh, heard, did you hear that? Yeah. I think it was back. I don't know if it was us or not. Tickle its tonsils. <laughs> Where's the slab? Oh, there we go. Look at this. Look at the windscreen, how bad it is. We had no water. Yeah, it's like a massive moth. We had no water in the in the washers, yeah? Okay, so we're on Stuart Highway at the moment. So it's eight o'clock at night now. I've, I've never driven this late. Oh, I have once when we went to Townsville, um, but we are in Queensland, so never in uh, New South Wales driving this late with everything on. And we're gonna do, I reckon we'll do another like, 400 Ks, I reckon. Just quickly, what? where are we here? What's this called? This one? Yeah, we'll what's... See. What is it? Two seven double one. What's what country is it? Um, country. What town? <laughs> what town? Hey. Huh? Hey. 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 How do you spell it? Hey. 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 Yeah. Oh, hey. H a y. Hey. Oh, we're in hey. Okay, we're in hey. So we've been driving on this road for like how long? We've been driving, you reckon, on this road for? Probably about forty minutes. Forty minutes, and it's full on like a full drive track. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Like I put the windows down so you could hear what it's like. When we get out, we'll show you, but the trailer, how caked is the trailer? It's probably about fuck, 50 mil thick. 50 mil thick of this red, I don't know, is it brown or red? Mud. It's like mud on this track, and we've done, we've, only, we've still got another 30 k's on this track to do. I've made a stop. We don't know where we'll stop next to. It's like a here, yeah. Hey? Keep the light here. <laughs> it's like a recycled construction area. Alright, we're gonna set the swag up. We're gonna have something to eat and then we're gonna go straight to bed. It's what's the time now? It is 12.38. Look at the trailer. I'll show you more tomorrow. Look at this. Just going out. These reels, look at all this. We just put the swag up. Now the mattress seems way too small for the swag. I don't know. Look at this. Like, is this mattress gonna expand? Look at the fucking gap here. Look at that. Surely it's gonna, it has to expand, surely. Lucky that brain brain the fucking, the fire starters. True? Fuck you. What are they? They're bricks. Three, 
Very good. So it's currently four o'clock in the morning. I had about 40 minutes sleep. Brendan is having a shit. And then we're just gonna keep driving now really slow um, till we hit Outback Queensland. So that's the plan, we wanna stay in Outback Queensland. So hopefully we can get there at like three, four o'clock latest on the spot. So we've got about two hours before dark, before the sunset. And we can get the drone up and just go exploring at night for spotlight. We've just checked how far we are from the border. We're 500 kilometers from the border. Brendan will be driving it. He'll be driving us into Queensland. He's just wiping his hands because he just took a shit behind my boat. How did you take the shit? How was your position? I needed to hold something, Kudj. You need to hold something, huh? I don't want to shit on my pants. We did about 20 k's and then we said, you know what, let's just have an hour's sleep, get up and then we'll go again, so. We're gonna sleep for an hour. Where's my pillow? Do I have one? Oh, yeah. And then we're gonna get up and go. We'll see you in Queensland. Actually, <laughs> We'll see you in New South Wales. We've had an hour of sleep, we're gonna hit the road again. Um, we've got no service, so we're gonna go up the road. I remember it was like 270 kilometers to the next 220. Do you remember? Which you We've got 52 Ks until we get to Coba, but the fuel tank is saying we have one bar left and we've done 360 Ks out of that tank and I don't think one, one bar at 51 so we've got one bar and I don't think we're going to get 51 k's out of one bar so we're thinking about pulling over and putting the two little jerry cans in the chimney it's only five litre of jerry cans so it'll give us 10 litres which will get us to Coba so I'm going to show you guys what the car and the boat looks like how I said last night we went on this dirt track I was in third gear and the car was just spinning on the spot I'm going to show you guys caked to the shit out. Have a look at that. Just spraying it last night. Look at that. We've had a lot of rain. Even the trailer underneath. Get rid of all the eskies. Yeah, check out that motor. Never done this before. So the car had one bar left. So let's see what five, uh, 10 litres gets us. Hey. Man, almost half a tank, man. Half a tank. That's all we need, just them two. We don't Probably need two bars there, but it's alright. We don't even need to fill up the big jerry can, I don't think. Oh, what a drive it's been. Loving every second of it. We're gonna put fuel and we're just gonna keep punching through. We wanna get to Outback Queensland today, so we've got a pretty big day. Go, go, go. Fuck little, man. Yeah, many of them there are, there's mean roofs. There's about 20 emus on the side of the road and we are just about to hit Queensland. There it is there. Pull up in front of the sign, Brent. Yes, we did it! We did it! All the setbacks, we fucking done it. We finally made it to Outback Queensland. It's been such a journey. So now from here, we're gonna keep driving through the Outback and we're gonna find somewhere to stay tonight. We don't know where we're gonna stay, where we're gonna sit up this swag, but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey and hopefully we have a safe travel that we do tonight. Change of plans. We don't know where we're staying tonight. We've got the swag, but we think about staying in the car and only sleeping like an hour at a time until we get to Cairns. So there are 211 kilometers until our next turn. So, and it's four o'clock and we don't, yeah, and it gets dark at six. We don't know if we're gonna stay in the outback now because we just want to get to Cairns and fucking explore Cairns. I want to show Brent Cairns and that, so we don't know, yeah. We're starting to go deeper now in the outback. The soil is red and it's red for a long time. So to get where we need to go in Cairns, we've got to travel 1,462 kilometers. So basically we've made our minds up. We're gonna keep driving. If we get tired, we're gonna pull over on the side of the road somewhere, sleep in the car for an hour, um, and then keep going. This is where we have to be careful because this is when everything's gonna come out and play now. Hopefully we see pigs, right? You wanna see pigs? Fuck yeah. From the outback fucking train tracks. What is it? Bro, from the fucking 1800s probably. Fuck, you found a pin on the train tracks. That's sick. We're here at the moment and we gotta go 
all the way up here. We're going to arrange the back of the, the car, so if we want to go for a sleep, it's easy for us just to put the chairs in and go for a sleep. But look how full it is. The guy at the server goes, brother, be careful up this way now because there's so many roos here. Yes, we've seen roos up here before. Yeah, look. Look at that much water. Beautiful. Do you reckon we just put it in one, the two, three, boat? Four. Back in the boat. Put one in the car. Fucking hell, Brent. Well done. Oh, I had that rip already. Yeah, I know. Fucking not bad, that grill, huh? Four sausages are cooked. Roos are going to come out. This is when they're going to fucking jump out. One already. Choo! Choo! <laughs> so, if you listen carefully, there's dog, wild dogs barking. And we've got a fox whistle. I'm going to try calling a fox and see if we can get a fox to come. I'll show you where we are in a second. We're like far north Queensland. We'll get into far north Queensland. We're, not, we're like a thousand kilometers away from Cairns, put it that way. So I didn't even film the last day because I thought it was going to take me exactly the same way that I've been the last three times through Townsville, through Cardwell, but it didn't. It took us on a completely different route that I've been before. We had 450 kilometers left and it took us around six to seven hours. We were on dirt roads for like 250 kilometers, dirt roads with potholes. We almost ran out of fuel. We had 60 kilometers left to get to a servo. Luckily, Luckily, I had fuel from the boat, from the boat motor to use for fuel for the car. So that got us out of trouble. We had about 10 liters, if that. Put the 10 liters in the car, we just made it to the servo. We even went down the windiest road in Australia, and that's called Gillies Range. But at the end of the day, we made it. We got the cans, and we'll keep going with the video. Who's coming home? <laughs> Waiting to see Luke's high beams. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aria's just told me to swap spots with her and because she doesn't have the best visual from here. She wants to sit there so that you can see Daddy come home. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it's Daddy, look. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Do you think it's going to be Daddy? Daddy. Let's see. Daddy. Did you miss your daddy? Oh my Today's our first day where this timber boat's gonna be in salt water up here in Queensland. It's about 30 k's from where we are at the moment. We're in Cairns and we're in Beast, we're in front of BCF. This boat's gonna hit salt water in Queensland. I don't even know if the motor's gonna start. Good for the shot. So we're going out fishing today with Cody, taking us out. He's so local around here. But the motor's running good. Which is a bit dry. We're gonna fix it. Look at all that on the side of the boat coming off, man. Fuck, this thing's like missing hard again. Look. Uh, we'll follow you. Okay. So basically, you can see a bar. Just flick? What do you flick? Are you just... Uh, I'm using a stick bait. Uh, but like bobbers and... Can you soft plastics in that? Would yeah. that... Yeah, yeah sweet. Yeah. Uh, where's the sandbar? Just... Oh, everywhere. Okay. Yeah, uh, because we're higher up, we can see it. Oh, we're dodging them. Oh, fuck, I couldn't see any. We're coming up here. We'll be close anyway, bro. Like, we'll be around. 
We're in this little inlet and Cody said we're gonna fuck around and go next to the sandbars and flick lures near the sandbars because that's where the queen fish and trevally are gonna hang around. So they're over there fishing at the moment. What are you gonna use, Bren? I'm using a soft plastic. White soft plastic Bren is gonna use. I lost a fucking barramundi on that the other day. If we catch a queenie or a trevally, we'll take it home and we'll cook it up. And I didn't explain to you guys. So, so today, after we finish up here, about two o'clock, we're gonna pack up and we're gonna go meet Connor um, at a boat ramp and we're going out again. So we might put out some mud crabs. We might, I don't know, try to go for mangrove jack, just try to catch some other type of fish. We don't know yet. So we're gonna leave here at two and then we're gonna go somewhere else. Oh, you bastard. I don't know if you can see, but there's a sandbag just here. So we're gonna work this whole area and just flick lures. We've already flicked lures there. We're just gonna flick around here, see if we can get anything. What happened? Something jumping. Something jumping? Where? So what we're doing now is we've moved closer to the bank and we're just gonna flick soft plastics up near the bank and hopefully we can land the mangrove jack. Um, something like that with these soft plastic, so hopefully, give us luck, please, please. Something just chased up my lure. Did you see that? About 500 mil long and I just seen white come up white, so I'm guessing it was a barramundi, huh? Right at the surface you seen the belly. Yeah, the belly come up and it turned around. Found a little inlet. Come on man, we're gonna get off the mark today. Mango Jack, Barramundi, GT, Trevally, something like that we want, guys. All right, we're on. You on there, Ren? I don't know what this is. Move back a bit, Ren. Oh, yes! It's a cord, but there's some sort of like cod. That's what it probably was before. Woohoo! All right. I don't know if these, these shouldn't be poisonous, should they? Oh, fucking no. I don't want to risk it. Alright, I'm going to let him go. There you go. We're going to trawl back with one of these. So basically today we've dropped one. I've caught one and Brent dropped one as well. Had a hit. So we're going to trawl back. We're going to meet Connor at four o'clock and then go for a fish with Connor. We might put out some crab pots as well. We don't know yet. Man, these conditions right now are super windy. We're going to get the boat on the trailer. And it's just windy as, man. Brad! Get out the car in gear. Give me the strap. So we're at our second spot with Connor. So we're going to fish with bait. Connor's got some prawns, mullet. We're just trying to find a nice spot here to pull up and start. I might flick a couple of lures while they're fishing with bait. This is where your stingray was, down this creek. Fuck yeah, that's where the stingray jumped up out of the water. Out here, yeah. Jumped out of the water. Yeah, jumped out the water by about a metre. Never did I. Okay, Brent, pop it down. It's only like 1.5, it's pretty shallow. You see the bottom here, bro. Stingray right there. He's there. Can you see it? Connor's got a big fucking prawn about to throw out. Can't believe you don't use leader. Do you want leader? <laughs> no, you're wrong. Where is it? Are you gonna try to catch the ray? It's right near my line. What is it? The ray. Don't catch is him. That like a manta ray or something? Catch it, oh. sake. I touched him. Yeah, I've seen it on here. Fish are jumping out left, right, and center. I think this is the time for the day. Well, we're gonna be off the fucking mark, Brent. What do you reckon? Oh, I fucking think so. <laughs> Is the anchor so. hooked? I don't know, mate, because we're drifting. Did you put it on? I, I dropped it and fucking the rope, the rope went slack. <laughs> no, we're drifting for sure. All right, we're gonna jump on and see if I can get a mud crab. Perfect. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, it's really. Look how much I'm sinking, man. You want these? Take, give him a knife or something. Nah, because I'll sit, I'll lose them. Nah, I woke it. <laughs> You'd feel it, yeah? You'll hit it. Yeah, I reckon you hit it solid, yeah. If it was in there, for sure. You have to fit. Fuck, how deep do you reckon they go? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Put down in the comment section, how deep do you think mud crabs go in the holes? Uh, nothing there. We're gonna make another move now. We're gonna try to throw this car snit out. See if we can catch some mullet or something like that. The sun's going down. 
But we are going out tomorrow morning. We're going to try and get those queen fish again. I didn't tell you guys, Cody and his mate got a 90 centimeter trevally or queen fish. So we're going to have to try it again tomorrow morning because I want to catch one, man. I can't wait. Might take me a couple of goes. Yeah. It's only three meters. Yeah. Better. A... Better. A little bit, but still not opening up. How deep is it here? Now five, it's deep. Five meters. Look at that, look at that. Mud Fuck, it was massive, that mud skipper, man. What's a mud skipper? What's a mud skipper, bro? They're like a little fish, they just hop along the bank and they jump in the water and that. They're hard to catch. Deep, deep in the mangrove. We're just having a look, we're just adventuring, bringing you guys along with the journey, man. Just a monster. Big boy, isn't he? He's got nice big clippers. Do you reckon that's a legal size, Connor? Yeah. Fucking beautiful boys, check this out. Not a breath of wind, but that's how it was yesterday. We'll make our way down there and we'll see how windy it gets, how windy it is, because yesterday was blowing a gale. And I forgot to tell you guys, we have a special guest that's back. Are you ready? He hasn't been with me for a while. Are you ready? Are you ready? Brock! Hey! <laughs> yeah, she grabbed the top of the boat, Brent. Rocco's back! Claim your spot, Rock. Don't let Brent. Don't let Brent take it, brother. Brent's on, boys. Nice size. Yeah. Yes, yeah, nice one. Woohoo! Bring it in. Oh, what's the size of these bad boys? Fuck yeah. Yes. Nice size, Brento. Look at that beautiful fish, look at that. Perfect, lift up, Ren. Bro, that is sick. Look at that, man. That is sick, bro. How do you feel? Oh, mate. <laughs> Woo! Mate, my first GT. High five, brother. Trevally. Nice, Trevally. What's the size on it? You want to eat him? Yeah. You got to check the size in that on him, bro. Oh, look how beautiful he is. Did it run hard or? It pulled. Yeah? Yeah. To Brent, I said, bro, we're gonna fucking catch fish now because Rocco's with us, didn't I? Rocco. I'm telling yeah, you now, bro. We got one. Rocco! Rap to you, brother. <laughs> I'm rap to you. I'm fucking rushing, man. That was, that was sick. Yeah! Oh, shit. Brent, Brent just casted the rod in, and the other tip put in the raw water. Please don't lose that. There it is. Too much fucking oomph on that one. You reckon? Oof! Look! Oh. 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 Come in! <laughs> Relax! Bro, watch out for the rods! Bro! Are you alright? Oh. Bro, why aren't you rotting? Because that rod goes, my rod will go in. Are you alright? Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, let, let the drag go, is it a nice one? That's it, just take it easy, Brent. No, no, drag she loose, she loose. That's it. Woo! Bring it in. I think he foul hooked him, bro. We're on again, boys! What is it? That's not a, that's a para. Nah, it's not. What is that? Bring it here. What is that? It's like a salmon or something, bro. I don't know what that is. Foul hooked him, but look at that. Straight on the side, we'll let him go. Put down the Are comment you sure section if you know. Nah, it's not a bear money. Put down the comment section, guys, if you know what fish this is. Send it to Connor, maybe we can eat him. Nah, we'll throw him back. Let's see, see the rod go, was that cool? Yeah. That lure, man. Maybe I need a deep diver. Maybe I should change over, what do you reckon? Change it. All right, let's release her. Look at all the cheese. I don't know if it's going to be all right now. See if you can revive it, Brent. I don't know. Oh my God, look at the teeth on it, man. Jesus, look at those teeth. Take it off, Brent. Go look, look, release that rod out for your hand. What the fuck is that? Jump this side or go that side? I don't know. Don't just put it in the water and see if it swims. Okay. I 
Are they meant to have fluff on them? It's <laughs> too far up. All right, boys, we're gonna head in. We're gonna, we might go to Palm Cove, get some prawns, maybe some oysters. Cook this up tonight. We're making our way now to get these prawns. We're just waiting for the crew to rock up. We've got Bruno. We've got Alex and Ari coming through. Be careful of um, ants, mozzies, wasps, crocs, sharks. Stingrays, okay? Midges. This opens up into like a little arm here. Sending Brendan first, so something happens, he goes down first. Then it gives um, myself enough time and the family to run. Yep, just keep going. Through that other opening, Bren. Go on. You're right, Al. What do you reckon, Breno? for a frozen bag and I'll cook up some sick garlic prawns. What do you reckon? Let me just try fold a couple of times. Really? Yeah. See the crock trap? See the crock trap, Brent? In there? A bit hairy, eh boys? Well done. We got one prawn. Come out of the water. But I think it's the current's too high for us to catch anymore. Let it go, say bye prawn. Here we go. <laughs> Not seen swimming? No. Look. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, we're back at home and Brendan is cleaning the fish. We're gonna have fish tonight. So basically he's just gonna clean it, scale it, gut it. Like stuffing it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, we've never had trevally before. We have we didn't bleed it, so put that in the comment section if we should have bled it. But we just Googled it and Google said that we should have bled it. Oh, look, open that. Let's see what it's eating. Look, Ari, it's stomach. Look, it's stomach. We're going to see if it's eating anything. Anything in there? Yeah, it's bones. Fuck, it stinks, doesn't it? Prawn, what is that? Like a fake fish or something. Oh, it's got rib cage and shit. Mm. And then if we go inside, Alex is in here. What are you cooking? Uh, just a quick pasta salad with thousand island dressing. It's my yeah. favourite. And just like a cold pasta salad like that's crunchy because I do feel like crunching when it's hot. Yes. Well, we're looking at the meat to see how red it is because we didn't bleed it. And it doesn't look too bad. Looks a bit red, but it should be fine. So why are you slicing it like that? So I can shove garlic cloves in, in between the meat. Put some garlic inside the guts. Some seasoning. Sprinkle it on top. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's it. What's this you're making? Just a little... Pasta mix to put around the fish. Really? Thank you. We're gonna eat you. Thank you for sacrificing yourself for us today. So we've got the barbecue on. 170. That's it. Yeah, I don't think you should have done that. Alright. Yes, sir. Oh my god, it looks good. My eye! My goodness! <laughs> my goodness, it's my eye. It's my eye. Sorry, there's another one. I know. Oh, I think gone. it's on that side. No. It's peeling off the bone, yeah. Looks good. Who's the first taste test? Franco. No. You caught it. I already had some. Oh, no. oh, here, give it. Oh, have it. oh you go. Oh, you go. My okay. Goodness. It's squishy. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Yeah? Mommy? Mommy? That's really amazing. Good? Oh, Dan Bren. 
Alright, we try this one. Mmm, that's like chicken. That's amazing. Yeah, bro, you did really well. That's a fish. Mm. It is bony. It but is fish, look. It's beautiful. A little bit, but beautiful. Okay, go. Good job. Oh, don't eat it. Oh, 